And welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Lurker 101 Players Game Dev Tycoon. And we have just released a new game called Bad Moon Rising. A sequel to a werewolf game we made. How well is it doing? Eight. Eight. Nine. Seven. So that's an all round eight. It's a good game. Not as good as it should have been, but. Right. Server, I wanted to do the dialogues. Bad Moon Rising, half a million in sales. Wendy, are you ready to train up in. Not ready for anything, are you? Right. You need more game design. You need a. Uh, do more game design as well. Shawnee, I want a game report out to you. Martha. More game design. Jerry. More research. Bad Moon Rising has made release. Never racked up over a million in sales. And we'll tre actually we'll research. What will be good? Skill trees. That'll do us. We're still doing well for money. The R&D lab is nicely taking away them research points for us. Come on. She ready? Yes, she is. She's ready for dialogue, so you're getting specialised, girl. Right. I'll have to get my programming up. Train you up in. Uh, I think you're a world design, aren't you? You are. Engine not important for that sort of game. So, world design requires more technological progress. You need graphics design again. You need. Maybe we should get him. Oh, sound requires design points. I thought it was a tech thing, not a design thing. Yeah, well. Oh, well, game design course for you as well. And train you up in... Product management. Get you faster. We're all getting specialised now, but all the little areas now. Come on. The only one not doing anything there, Martha and Sarah. What? Come on, finish up already, finish up. Right, let's develop. We've got a bad case sick, we'll like to see ya. Right, a sequel to Trapped in Purgatory. It's a large game, mature detective adventure game. In fact, what did we do last? It was an adventure game. I want to do an RPG style game now. We're just going to have to alternate between RPGs and adventure games because that's what we're set up for. Megalopolis, Top Gear. I think we did another Top Gear, didn't we? Can't remember. Right. Actually, let's develop a new IP. It's going to be a cyberpunk RPG adventure. Might as well mix the two. Mature, large game. On the PC, obviously, and with the Cry Engine, we're calling it Metal Messiah. I think that's how you spell it. Next! 3D Graphics V4. This is going to be a proper game. Proper! Get a little more in, in, in a game player. Drop the engine. Completely drop it. 
that will have to do. It will actually have to do. I'm not even getting basic physics in there. Can't get mod support neither. Yeah, well. Right. Martha is gameplay, yes. Jerry Soul, story and quests. Joy Park, not doing much. Right, get into it. Bad Moon Rising generated 57 million in seals. Gameplay boost. We'll boost them when their things come up. That seems like a sensible way to go about things. When the first stage, and we've already got 600 in design, nearly 700 in design points. Let's do a small campaign. Let people know this game is happening. Right. I actually want more level design if I can get away with it. We can get away with it. That. Come on. There, that'll do. Right. Level design. What's Scott wrote on the level design, have we? Right. Guess that's what we're training them up for. And we'll be training Wendy for the world design. Meaning that Johnny Parker will be doing everything else, including sound. Right, dialogues, service on the dialogues. Let's put the work in. Over a thousand already. Level design, I don't have anyone specialised in level design. Large booth. Let's get the word out. Get people really excited for this game. Let them know this is happening. Wendy's on the world design, Lurker on the graphics, and the sound isn't really important. That will have to do it. Right, world design, nobody specialised yet. Move it, move it. Graphics. Boost Lurker for the graphics. Look at those design points. 1600. Just get on with it. Will it be 1.7 million out? Yes, it is. 1.7. Number one booth. Once again. Right, when it's finished, I'll send you some order. Not before. Actually, I've had a really, really silly idea. It is silly, but I think it could work. I'm going to hang around with the all knackered. And then send them all on vacation at once. That way they don't need... That way they're all going on vacation at the same time, all coming back at the same time. And we're not having people drop out halfway through a project. Finish! Metal Messiah, it's going to be a landmark game, this. I should be building a new engine, shouldn't I? <laughs> right, Metal Messiah is ready. Let's release it. I would like to stage an internal coding contest. I think we could all earn a lot by doing this. As an incentive, we would need a prize for the winner. 90 grand. We agreed that the prize will go to charity. Should we do it? Damn right we should. Start right away. Boosting. Let's just boost everyone. You're not getting fire, fire do you? You're just not. Come on, this has got to be a 10. Perfect 10. That's possibly the best we've ever, ever done. Perfect 10. Come on. Metal Messiah, a perfect 10. That's something worth getting hyped over. Boost him. 
It looks like Wendy might it. Oh, it's between Wendy and Johnny here. If you're not a fan of Lurker 1 1 Gamer, no, then chances are you will be after playing their latest hit, Metal Messiah. A perfect example on how dialogues in a game can be so much more thrilling than in a movie or book. At every stage, I felt like I really had choices it and was driving the story. Well, what can I say? Stop reading, start playing. Gary White of Gamers. Ooh, who won it? Who won it? I didn't see. That was neck and neck. Five million in sales now. Five million. Remember, we're waiting until they're all absolutely knackered. So while we do that, you are generating a game report. You can research something new for the next engine. No load screens. You, I want to research... Uh, surround sound. Research. Don't want that. Realistic body language. Co-op. Oh, we haven't got the research points for that. What's cheap in terms of uh, video playback? Right, there's everybody needing a vacation now. It was Johnny Park that won the contest. And he's given 90 grand to charity. We've also learned a lot in the process. We will be able to make better games now. Right. We've learnt a lot there. Cyberpunk and RPG adventure. Good combination. Gameplay are quite important for this type of game. World design, very important for this type of game. And mature with Cyberpunk, great combination. Right, I will research. Advanced stereo topic. Don't really want it, don't really need it, but something to research there. He's taking his time because he's absolutely knackered. Got nearly 200 million. Sold 8 million copies, that is incredible. Right. Uh, send on vacation, send on vacation, send on vacation. And slowly wait for their bars to reach a uh, right. Now we're sending. You on vacation. You on vacation. And you on vacation while I get to work on the new engine. We need to do some work on the 2D graphics. We need a new 2D game first. I'm going to wait. I want the 2D graphics here. Everyone's almost ready. Right, I want a new game then. A new game. Zombies. I haven't done zombies before, have I? Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, what else? City. Wild West. You know what? Develop sequel. Because I am actually going to... Where is it? Where is it? Quantum Singularity? No. Mechanized? No. You were hurricane? No. Where am I here? Where's Traps in Purgatory gone? Where is it? There it is. Trapped in Purgatory. It's going to be a large game now. Mature Adventure on the PC with the Cry Engine. It's going to be a 2D game. Trapped in Limbo. Let's start it. 2D Graphics V5. That's pretty much where we want everything, actually. Keep it the same. Right. Johnny, we're boosting you first. Oh, gameplay it. Martha, get to work. Story and quests. Jerry, boost. I'm 
I'm gonna be modest for a change. I'm not gonna modern you this game. Because while I do have high hopes for it. Yeah, he's still boosted in the story and quest department. Good. You stop there, just add a few bugs. You imbecile. I just got your voice out with level designer. Large booth, once again. Put the work in. Whoa. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can't really boost anyone here. Scotty's the level designer now. Wendy will design. And keeping everything the same, aren't we? So that we'll have to do. Well designed. Wendy, you get the boost. Yeah, getting the boost, Wendy. After the convention, obviously. One point eight now. Not bad at all. We're getting better. Well designed, finished. Well designed, finished, and there it is. Graphics. You're not getting the cry engine. Get lost. We're still using it. When we develop a new engine, then you can have it. Not before though. I forgot to boost her for the dialogues, didn't I? Damn it. So we've now got two thousand in design. Two thousand. Get those bugs out. Get rid of them. Fast. Faster. Faster. Power. There's no bugs there. New records all around. Three D graphics V five have leveled up. Right. Trapped in limbo. It's gonna be it is gonna be a hit. I didn't more than you it. And it's gonna be a hit. That's gonna hurt me sales, isn't it? Right. Wait. We're training you up. You need more tech points to be a world designer. Training you up. You need more design points to be a level designer. We're training you up. You need more design points to be a sound engineer. Max boost. Train you up. Give you more tech points. Train you up. Give you more tech points. And I want a game report now. Blah, blah, blah. One million. Microsoft has announced plans to release a completely revamped version of the Mbox later next year called the Mbox Next. The new console seems to cleverly integrate Microsoft's own motion sensor add-on for the Mbox One in, into a small package. Visually, the Mbox Next is reminiscent of the earlier Mbox 360 with much lighter tone marking a departure from the bulky and dark style of the Mbox One. The technology of the Mbox Next seems promising, but we will see how the new console will fare against its competitors. That was quick. That was a short console life cycle. Right, are you ready there? You're ready for world design. We need 200 research points for you though. Right, this is a perfect time. Well designed, very important. Mature detective, walk here. Come on, finish up, Jerry. Right, we we'll want this custom engine now. 3D graphics, V5. Advanced stereoscopic. Actually, I'm going to keep the V4s in as well, just in case I make smaller games. Reactive quest, video playback. All the things. Voiceovers. Virtual economy. Dynamic world. Surround sound. And what have we got to call this engine now? I'll have the V3s as well. Because I might want to make a small game. 
because I've named the last couple after Let's Plays that I watch. I could call it the Jesse Engine. Uh, or should I start with a new name and format? Screw it. It's a liquid. Like the spell lurker. Away. The liquid crystal engine. Just because it sounds cool. Liquid crystal designs. And once we've got 200 research points, we've got it. Actually, I'm in D lab. I want more research points, desperately. We're not we're not sitting down there with hands anymore. Why can't I give you a bo the extra boost or have you got there? I don't think you've got level three boost. Five million in seals from trapped in limbo. Cause we're not just working on the games anymore, we're going back to basics, we're giving them proper booklets with it. You remember the old booklet adventure games? About an eight, two and a half inches thick, you could kill wild animals with it. They had more flavour text than actual games these days have. Many have expected that Vonnie will announce a new platform before Microsoft's Mbox next will hit the market, and today Vonnie did just that. Keeping with the company tradition, and in contrast to competitor Microsoft's name and factors, the newly announced console has aptly named the Player System 5. Imaginative name there, the Player System 5 seems an incre incremental update coming out later this year with a form factor that reminds of the early PS3. The new system promises to be a solid update, but we'll see how the console will fare against its competitors. Right, you're our world designer. And you need a game design course. And... You need a game design course so we can do sound as well as technology. We've done well there. Come on, liquid crystal. Now we can give away the cry engine. Oh, hey, finish up, Johnny. There we go. Everyone's wanting to break it around the same time. We just received a letter from a company called All Your IP Belongs to Us. And they said that they will engine liquid crystal is infringing on one of their patents. They can fuck off. They graciously offer a license to their patent for 30.8 million and are willing to give us a 50% discount if we just pay them without fighting them in court. We would pay this and hope they won't bother us again, or we would refuse and try to solve this in a, in front of the courts. Alternatively, we might be able to rally our fans and publicly fight them. How would you like to proceed? Rally the fans. When you're good to your fans, the fans are good to you. Come on, you just need a break as well. That's it. Via Kit. Via Kit. We rallied our fans to publicly fight against all your IP belongs to us and fight we did. We not only caused them to retract their claims, but we also won 10,150 fans in the public's admiration. How dare we'll hear from them patent trolls again. Right, lot of you, go on your break. Because we're making a big game next. And I do mean big. Mbox next. By Microsoft has now been released. We're not training. We're not training yet. Large booth, because we're going to make a new game. No. Let's make the sequel to one of our bigger games. Not that. Not that. What was the last game we did? Trapped in Limbo, an adventure. I want to do an RPG then. Uh, RPG, I 
Action. The Dangerous Brothers Adventure Action. What else? I just wanted to do a pure RPG. Uh, it's going to be a new game then. Uh, let's see. Alternate history. Possibly. The question is what portion of history? Oh, we'll just do straight fantasy. Make it an RPG, it's got to be a straight fantasy. On the Liquid Crystal Engine, and it's going to be a triple A game. Mature. Add title here, because I need to think about the name now. I really do need to think about the name, because I can't think of anything just yet. No, hover. I want it to be hover. I don't know why, I just do. And it's got to be with the 3D graphics V5. Start development. And we can do a marketing campaign. Why do we want a marketing campaign? What's this? Let's use our in-house skills to design a special marketing campaign for our triple A title. No! Because most of their marketing campaigns are absolute utter wank. Jesus, Jerry's busy there. Let's lighten the load. Martha, do some work for a change. Reactive quests. Advanced cutscenes. Full motion video. Well, we can't have FMVs. Advanced cutscenes, no. Immersive storytelling. Eh, moral choices. So, simple cutscenes instead of the FMVs. Jesus, this is tricky to balance. No cutscenes. Reactive quests. Immersive storytelling. Moral choices. Real moral choices. Shades of grey, not just extreme black or white. Extreme. You know, not save the baby or murder the baby. Stuff in between. Feed the baby then and just fucking leave it. Stuff like that. Don't want a multiplayer horror game. We do want basic physics. We we'll obviously want a save game. Right, skill trees and achievements. That'll do it, I think. Get past the engine first. Right, game player. Martha, boost your way through it. Market as normalised, great. And here is the convention. I still need to think of a name. 1.8 million people at our booth, great. Come on. Whoa, story and quests, uh, Jerry, we need to boost you like mad. You really need to put the work in here, mate, sorry. That's it, that's it. The PS5 by Vonnie has been released. Doesn't matter to us, PC developers all the way. Right. Sarah's got to be very busy. And so is Scotty. He needs to do a lot of level design. We can drop the EI requirements. Uh, dynamic environment. Oh. 
That'll do it. Right, dialogues. We want advanced body language, not realistic. Want voiceovers. Can we get away with celebrity voice acting? Yeah, we'll have a couple of celebrities in there. Yeah, celebrity voice acting. I think that's the right way to go about it. Right, dialogues. So Sarah, get her work. Plow through this one now. We need this to be the best game we have ever made. This game is going to be a proper money sink. Oh, forgot. I want some marketing. Large campaign. Let people know we're here. Get the demos out. Show them a sample of the box art. The booklets. Level designer. Who's our level designer? Scotty's our level designer. A detailed manual. Giving backstory on everyone in the game. All the worlds. Blah, blah, blah. All that good stuff. Right, Johnny, you're doing the sound. You're a dedicated sound guy now. Right. Let's have surround sound in this one. Dynamic world, virtual economy. Ooh. Can't add the virtual economy. We want a rich backstory, though. So if we drop that here, touch. Drop the sound just enough. Keep going with the well, balance there. Right, Wendy is. Yes, she is trained in world design. That's great news. Right, Wendy, get her work. Look at those points there. Look at those points. Right, when we get onto the graphics, Lurk is getting a big boost. Come on. Come on, 2,000 in design. 1,000 in technology. That's fantastic. Johnny, you're getting a boost when it comes to sound. There you go. Those are seriously big numbers now. Very seriously big, big, big numbers. Come on. We are ready to... The game is just about ready. We need to do proper bug testing though. Make sure there's no bugs in there. Make sure people can really enjoy this game. We're not releasing it in a beta state. That's not our way. We're not doing early access. We're not doing alphas. We're not doing betas or beta tests. No, letting people beta test it for us. We're doing all the stuff ourselves. We're making sure this game is ready for people. Finish it off. Oh, bot off! That's going to hurt us, isn't it? Our first AAA game, and we're hit by new topics. People want new topics, so nothing I can do about it there. But it's still a 10! Keep going, keep going. Whoa! 11 out of 10, game of the year, any year. <laughs> I want a game report now. I forgot to give it a name. I left it as insert title here. <laughs> I can't believe it. After all that. To make you faster. You're a level designer. Turn it up to 11 achievement. Right. You need more game design experience. You need... I want you on a programming course. I want a little more balance. You need speed. And you need graphics. 11 out of 10. A million... 
1.2 million in sales in the first, is it weeks or months? I don't know. I think it's weeks. Whoa! Over 5 million. Add title here. <laughs> it's a strange name for a horror game. I was going to call it Cell Dweller. Ladies and gentlemen, the surprise hit of the year is ad title here by Loco 101 Gaming. The level design is both sophisticated and surprisingly intuitive. I never felt like I was guided through a level, but I never ever lo got lost either. A true achievement. Rarely will a game captivate you as much as ad title here. Tom Mott. Mott. Centre. That was great. That was truly amazing. 11 out of 10 for a game. I don't think we can do better than that. Diamond. Sell 10 million copies of a game without the help of a publisher. We just got word that ad title here, was, which was recently released by Loco 101 Gaming, has racked up over 10 million in sales. This is an unbelievably high number. Small booth. Only want a small booth. When he's finished piddling about. Horror and RPG. Okay combination. Well designed. Very important. To topic audience match. Mature horror. Great. Right. My good sir. Is getting a sequel. No, it's not because it's a fashion game. Yes, it is. But it's not going to be a casual game. Leave that for now. Going to have an adventure RPG for everyone. It's going to be a medium game. On the PC. With the liquid crystal engine. My dear sir. And let's get the 2D graphics V. Yeah, 2D graphics V5. Got to be quick about this one. We want immersive storytelling. Uh, simple cutscenes as well. Drop that just a touch. Engine is going to have a save game, and that's it. And the gameplay. Get rid of the achievements as well. That'll do it. Gameplay straight to Martha. A quick little game to supplement before we go on holiday and then make our next big game. A small booth and we get we still squeeze 1.5 million people in there. That's incredible. Placed at number 40 with a small booth. Whoa, this is Andrew McNamara from Game Informant. I just got word that a local 101 gamer is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information on your current game project and do an interview about it? Of course. Eh, uh, I'm going to be modest again. Thank you for your time. Story and quests. Get to work, Jerry. That's it. Right. Don't need realistic body language or... It's simple body language. I wonder. I wonder. Yes, advanced body language and better dialogues. Level design. Well, we don't need no loading screens. Don't think. Get rid of the mini games and the Easter eggs. Actually. Nah, dynamic environment. Don't 
better eat. Better artificial intelligence. Oh, crap. Screw the AI. Screw it. Get that back on the floor. Right, dialogues. That's your job, Sarah. Scotty Vore, the level designer, hard at work. This is going to be a great game. And what we'll only need. Whoa. This is going to be tricky, actually. Very tricky. Monoral sound. Uh, don't need a dynamic world in that. Don't need realistic weather. Uh, I wonder if we can get rid of... Yep! Have a virtual economy in there. Just for giggles. One world designer. Get to work. Then the graphics. This is the sort of game we're fighting out when we're tired. <laughs> Oh, sound guy. I'm thinking about sticking them on all, all on vacation, come back, fix the bugs, and then... Nah. Wait it's all fixed, and then send them on vacation. Finish that. Oh, vacate. Making no records there, but it's a small game. We're sticking everyone on vacation now. Because they need it. They've worked hard. Six. It's an alright game. Seven. Seven. Six. Send on vacation. Send on vacation. Generate game report from my dear sir. It's less casual now. Market is normalised. That's okay for us then. And we're actually going to leave it there. This has been Loco 101 playing Game Dev Tycoon. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll continue this next time. Goodbye.